Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm going to be sharing my April and May of 2021 favorites. If you haven't seen any of my favorites videos before, I'll throw the playlist up in the cards. I typically only do these every two to three months because I really want the products in these videos to be tried and true, holy grail favorites and not just products that I pick out to have a video to throw up every month. So I have my favorite products from the last couple of months here and I'm excited to talk about them. So let's go ahead and jump in. First, let's talk about a actual tool instead of a makeup product. This is a brush from AOA Studio, the Shop Miss A house brand. I was looking for a while for like a perfect size blush brush. This is technically not a blush brush. This is the F20 from AOA Studio, but this is literally exactly what I was looking for. Size, shape, fluffiness, everything. It's got my blush on it today because I did use it today. I, I've just been using this brush ever since I've got it. I've washed it a few times. I have not seen any shedding and it, it just is awesome. It's exactly what I was looking for and it was a dollar. If you're interested, I will have all the products I'm talking about today listed down below and Shop Miss A. I do have an affiliate link with them and it's actually the only affiliate link I have in the entirety of my channel because I really do believe in their products. I have that link down below, but do not feel pressured to use it. You could always just copy whatever product I have in the description box, go to their website and then plug it in that way too. All right, so my next favorite is kind of an old product that I bring out every now and then and I remembered why I love it so much, especially when it's getting hot outside. And if you're new here, I hate the summer. I hate everything about the summer. I hate the heat. I hate it. Blah, blah. But this is the Garnier Skin Active BB Cream. So this is a five-in-one miracle skin perfecter and it's comes in shade light medium. Technically, it's just, a, it's just a tinted moisturizer with some SPF in it, which for me is perfect as a primer. So I'm actually using it as a primer today. I've been wearing this as a primer for a while now and I really like it. I love the scent. It does have kind of like a sunscreeny kind of scent to it. So if you're sensitive to scents, this might be a little bit too much for you. But I love it as a primer that way. And I also love wearing it all over my face when I'm not wearing any makeup. I know mask mandates are lifting up a little bit, but I still feel comfortable, even though I am fully vaccinated, I just feel more comfortable wearing masks still when I'm out in public. So when I wear masks, I tend to only wear eye makeup and I won't do the rest of my face. And typically the rest of my face, I'll just put sunscreen, moisturizer, or this BB cream, just because it's the same thing. It's slightly tinted, but it has SPF in it and it just, it's really comfortable and it works. As I mentioned before, it is getting hot. I hate the summer and I hate sweating and I hate everything about it. But what I do love are the only best bulletproof, sweatproof concealers I have found. And they're both from the drugstore and they're actually both from Maybelline. So I don't know what it is with Maybelline that's able to create such a great sweatproof under eye concealer, um, but for me, they're necessary because when I start to sweat, I tend to start sweating right around my nose right here, which is typically right where my concealer meets my foundation. So even if I have like a perfect matte foundation on, if my concealer also isn't bulletproof, then it's it breaks up and it makes me look crazy. My two favorite concealers for the summer are the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser and the Maybelline Stu Super Stay <laughs> can I speak today? And the Maybelline Superstay Concealer. They're both fantastic. Honestly, I think I like the Instant Age Rewind more because I think there's more product in here or it feels like I'm getting more product out of here, but they're both fantastic concealers. Today I'm wearing the Superstay and it's just fantastic at not only just being a good medium coverage concealer, but being sweat proof. And it really, um, prevents too much creasing in my fine lines. I do have fine lines under my eyes. They're not gonna go away no matter what I do, but there are certain concealers that work well with them and don't make them look worse than other concealers. And that's these two. I love that they're both from the drugstore. I almost always have the Instant Age Rewind because it's a good year round concealer too, but I tend to only use the Maybelline during the summer, the Maybelline Superstay during the summer. They're both fantastic and they're both in my arsenal along with some of my favorite summer foundations, which if you guys want to see, I don't think I've done an updated summer foundation video in a long time. So if you want to see an updated version, let me know down below. All right, next I have two eyeshadow palettes that I have been obsessed with since I got them. And I think you can probably guess if you've seen my channel in the last couple of months. Uh, the first is the Natasha Denona Circle Local Palette. It's officially a favorite. I have been using the heck out of this palette. It is gorgeous. I have done a uh, two or three looks, one palette video. I'll throw that up in the cards. I also did a palette roulette that I had to film twice because I messed up the original files, but I love this palette. I am gonna rearrange it. Um, I thought about leaving it the way that it was, but I love rearranging my Natasha palette, so I'm probably gonna rearrange this at some point. I love this palette. It's expensive, yes, but I do think um, out of all the palettes, oh, I did also rank all my Natasha Denona palettes. If you missed it, I'll throw that up on the cards. 
but this is up there. This is one of the best Natasha palettes. And I do think if you're interested, if you're going to save up and get like only one palette, it would either be this one I would recommend or the Metropolis palette. I don't know if that one's still available because I know it was technically limited edition, but those are my two favorites. The next eyeshadow palette is one that took seven months to arrive and it's finally here. This is the Butte Bean and Shroud Cosmetics It's Freaking Bats palette. And I have to say, as much as I like want to be harsher on this palette for how long it took to get to me it's gorgeous i love this palette like do i wish i had this last halloween yes but now i have it for this halloween it's, it's a gorgeous palette quite honestly i love this palette it's um affordable for indie it was right around 36 dollars, and i believe that was even including shipping so really not bad because especially when it comes to collabs they can jack the prices up so i like that it was kept affordable I, I love the shimmers. The mattes are beautiful. I love the way this is laid out. I love that you've got like the shimmers and the X and then you've got your mattes kind of like this. I love the, the color choices. This is just so unique. As someone who has over 100 eyeshadow palettes, it's hard to find something that is like truly spectacularly unique. This is a great example of that. I love it. I love the packaging. I, I love everything about it except for the fact that it took seven months to get here. Though I do think the owner of the brand f learned from their mistake. I think they just as of like a week ago finished shipping out all the pre-orders so it took them like seven and a half or eight months to get all of them out there and I do not believe they're going to be doing any more unlimited uh, pre-orders <laughs> which is something you should never do. You should never have unlimited pre-orders because you're just going to bite off way more than you can chew but I will say I did see that they are going to make this available for sale again once they once they a they finish all the pre-orders and b give themselves enough time to actually restock an amount of palettes. So if it com becomes available again, I would recommend you pick it up if you like the color story because it's the quality is fantastic. I love it and I will be using this a lot. All right. And last but certainly not least, I have some fragrance favorites that I have to talk about because I've literally been wearing these every day. And these are some fragrances from Dossier. Two of these were sent to me in PR and one I purchased. So my absolute favorite that has been my favorite recently is the Musky Musk scent. I purchased this the day it came out because this is a dupe for the Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume perfume. This, and it smells just like it. I will say it is not as strong. This is more of like a body spray version of the Nada perfume. So you might have to reapply it throughout the day, but it literally smells exactly the same. And that's all that I wanted. <laughs> it's literally all that I wanted. And I, I, I kept trying to talk myself up to like buying myself a bottom of like a bottle of that perfume, but it, it's so expensive. It was over a hundred dollars. I just didn't want to take the plunge and do it. And then Dossier came out with this and I literally bought it immediately. <laughs> and I've been using it a lot. You can actually see, I think I've gotten like a fourth, not a fourth, eh, like a fifth of the bottle down. Cause I've been wearing this daily, I think since I got it, I, I love it. It's fantastic. I just, I'm so happy that I finally can get that same scent and not have to spend, you know, half a car payment on it. I don't have a car, I guessed, because <laughs> all really the only big, oh, a student loan payment. There we go. And I don't have to pay a student loan payment for it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's been my favorite. Two other kind of runner up fragrances. These were sent to me in PR. This is Floral Aldehydes. This is the dupe for Chanel number no. five. And this is just fantastic. I love this too. I tend to wear this more often if like we're going out somewhere, which means like target or grocery shopping you know i'm not really going out still even though we're vaccinated we're still taking our time um but this is amazing i love this one too um and one that i i don't use it as like a perfume as much but i love the scent this is musky green tea and it smells just like that it's, it's a musky green tea but i love this for linens so i've been actually spraying this on like towels right after we finish washing them and they come out of the dryer and on the bed after i finish making the bed i'll do a light spritz over like the pillow portion early in the morning so i, don't, I wouldn't spray this like right before you go to bed it would be way too strong but if you spray this like first thing in the morning after you make your bed and you let it sit all day it's it's delightful so i, I really like this as like a room spray or um, a linen spray i love it so much so those have been my three favorite fragrances recently and if you know me i'm a huge 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 fragrance girl so there we have it those are all of my recent favorites let me know down below what products have been your favorites recently and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye